So I'm leaving almost a farm here. And what a really cool way to start your morning with deer. Good morning from, I guess maybe it's more like day four, but this is honestly day two of driving. Today I am on my way to a place called Cold Springs Winery in Hammett, Idaho, which is a very small town, I mean an hour, hour 20 minutes east of Boise, Idaho. So yeah, I think today is almost exactly 200 miles, and, uh, and then I got to relax by some grapevines and just relax. Hopefully, I'll be able to buy some wine. Right now, Cold Springs Winery is only open uh, to sell wine on Saturdays, and that is through a pass-through window, basically. Their tasting room is closed. So I sent a request, because today is Wednesday, um, hey, would I be able to still buy a couple bottles of wine? I want to I want to support them. So we're hoping we can work that out. I want to get Susanna Riesling or something sweet. Because I love her. I just pulled in at the Cold Springs Winery, Vineyards, Vineyards, Vineyards and Winery. Anyway, I just pulled in at Cold Springs, and uh, this is kind of my setup for tonight. Poplar trees on one side. There is a uh, a pond over here, but the right turn to get over by it is a little too tight for us. So I am going to stay here. I'm going to get set up, and then I'm going to go meet Neil, and. Uh, See about some wine. All right, so a little bit about Cold Springs Winery and Vineyard. See, it's both. Uh, so it started in 1998, produced their first bottle in 2003, and started winning awards in Idaho right away. So they have 32 acres of beautiful property in Hammett, Idaho. They produce 12 different kinds of grapes. And uh, I'm going to go right now to what's usually the tasting room but the winemaker a gentleman named Neil is actually here today uh, to uh, sell me some wine Susanna's already got an order who knew <laughs> but this is the other spot I was talking about so if you have a smaller RV you can actually loop around but this right turn right here uh, I wasn't gonna fit in but I was really hoping to have this spot right here so another cool thing about cold springs they this venue they can have like weddings uh events up to 200 people and you can see i mean they've got chairs and stuff set out but they also can do chairs through here just a, a really cool place to be if you've never been in southern idaho it's called high high plains desert so if you look in the background you see there's a there's an awful lot of brown and these vineyards are it's like an alcohol oasis. All right, I'm gonna... So I said that they won a bunch of awards. I mean, look at all this. So I was talking with Neil, he's the, the winemaker here, and he said in Idaho is basically all open up, so they can start having, uh, they can start doing wine tasting stuff again. So I'm actually tasting a couple things that Susanna's already requested. 
just to make sure that they're good and they're good. So I'm gonna finish this and uh, then go all wander around and, and see the, the property a little bit. No, I didn't buy a full case. I only got five bottles. I have a lot of vineyards and wineries to visit along the way back across the country, so I didn't want to stock up too much. But this place, amazing wines. <laughs> Suzanne's going to be very happy. Um, and uh, Neil was great. He actually took me in the back. I was able to see some of the operation back there. Just turned it on. Oh, wow. So we're going to get it down to about 55 degrees down here. Um, and you said 55? Yeah, we're going to bring it down to about 55. Five, okay. Somewhere between about 55 and 60 because at 65, uh, a little animal called Brigamyces will start blooming. Um, it's a lot of times called red, and so they keep it cool where they don't want to bloom like that in that potential. So these are really nice tanks to have. I actually feel this, this is what it's going to be. Is that one? This one's. Oh, wow. That feels nice. <laughs> uh, we have our, all of our crushing and pressing equipment is actually stored. Down on the side, so this is where we keep our crusher and press inside. And so in the okay. fall, obviously, we keep it out on the deck and using it, running you know 12, 16 hours a day, and then uh, oh, wow. we'll overfill it just slightly. Um, this will pull everything down to 750 milliliters, with, and then the excess wine gets sucked back up into there and uses nitrogen to do that. So that little space inside is nitrogen inside okay. the ball. How many bottles do you guys produce a year here? Uh, here we're only doing about uh, 3,000 pieces. Okay. But uh, it's capable of doing 10,000. Um, but anyway, yeah, so I'm out of breath because I'm fat. All right, so if you are looking to buy a vineyard, this one's for sale. Uh, and they just dropped the price, so it is now a cool $1.75 million. And they produce about 3,000 cases a year. So if you're looking for a small vineyard, winery, this could be for you. Just keep making the wine as good as it is right now because it makes me happy. All right, I'm gonna hang out tonight and relax because I don't have to milk goats and get ready to head off to the Wasatch Ranch in Utah for my next day.